Hello YouTubers and welcome to this tutorial on how to use Garmin Basecamp. Um, what we'll be covering today is how to uh, create a route and in the next part we'll be doing uh, splitting up the routes, how to find hotels, lodgings, uh, places to eat, fuel stops, all that sort of stuff. So, with no further ado, let's uh, get on to it. Um, what we do is on the left hand side here under on my computer we'll uh, do a new folder and we're going to call this fictitious route and that's basically because we're going to be doing a fictitious route today and I don't want it indented onto I don't want it under the new folder there but I want it on the uh, folder for its own so I'm going to put it there and I want a new list, and that new list I'm just going to call trip for argument's sake. Right, where do we want to go? Well, if you see here, I've got motorbicycling, uh, motorbicycling, <laughs> what was that? Motorcycling um, marked. So, so basically, I'm going to do a bike trip. Uh, so, let's do a London to, to the Alps. Um, so I'm gonna zoom into London here. There must be a little bit in there you go. I just want that black dot. And I'm gonna say London. Close that. Zoom tool, zoom out. And we'll go to and the C over here, so I'm just gonna get waypoint again. And the C, close that, and then please note I've got the and the C and London waypoints over here. Right. So what I need to do now is just create routes and simply drag London to start and the C to stop. And that will create its own route. There you go. Now if we look at uh, this route, you'll see that it's 626 miles. What I have experienced is that when you try to uh, import such a long uh, route to your Garmin uh, unit. In my case, it is the uh, the Zumo 500, which is a bit of an aging unit, but still it works fantastically great. Um, it just the only thing it doesn't like is that the routes are too long. So what we do is we're going to split this up at some point in time. And we can actually just might as well just do it now. So I'm going to give this a bright red color, and I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to call this guide. Now the problem with Basecamp as it is right now, uh, if we go over here, we go to about Basecamp. Hold on a minute. Uh, is that if you have other folders? that has the same route that's sort of like guide and guide I use quite a lot um, it says that it already exists and please try another name and that is just so irritating so what I'm going to try to do is call it guide 1 see what happens there that's going to accept it so I'm using Basecamp 3.3.2 um, on the Mac and I'm using um, Mac OS 10, 7, which is the Lion. Um, I, I, you know, it's it's, a, it's it's one of the modern computers, so I shouldn't be getting this this problem saying that Guide already exists. But anyway, that that aside, we now have a nice guide here on how to create a route. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to split this up and using this guide what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in to the channel tunnel like so and I'm going to put a waypoint here and I'm going to call this channel tunnel 1 see if that lets me do it and I'm going to go over here 
we're splitting the roots up now and we're going to put it on the right side of the road um, I'm going to put a waypoint here and that's going to say channel channel French side and then zoom out what I could also do is give this a little bit more of a uh, friendly icon uh, you know going under the, the channel channel I don't want to put a sinking ship on there so I think I'm just going to put um, water for, uh, water tap I'll tell you what let's just choose that guy over here um, and you know this is just just to show you that what you can do select it all again double click on that and let's just get this uh, skier guy again Water screen guy, there we go. Close that. So, that was that. So, what's going to happen? We're going to be doing a route from London to the Channel Tunnel, from Channel Tunnel to Annecy. And you can see now that it's moving. Why is it moving? That's because I'm right clicking and at the same time I'm moving the mouse. So if I right click because I want to zoom out and I move the mouse, it turns the map. It's a bit stupid, but there you go. So don't do that and then turn because I, I, I would say that's a bug. You know, you know. I would like this feature on the hand tool. Fine, but I don't want this on the zoom tool. But again, you know, you have a look at little compass at the bottom here, and uh, you can choose. Uh, uh, that's about that's about north there. Yeah, that's about right. So that's why the <laughs> the map's moving. Um, right. So now I've got my guide. I've got those and I've got those and I've got that. So I need basically I need another guide because I need to go from channel tunnel on the French side to uh NSC. So I'm gonna do another create route and I'm gonna take my channel tunnel French side to NSC and you can see over here that it's 519 miles. Right, 519 miles is a bit too long, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check here. It's 519. And if I divide that by 2, I get 259. Well, I don't know what, what bikes you got, but I don't like riding so many kilometres. Um, Sorry, miles, kilometers in France. Sorry about that. But if I, do, if I divide the, if I split the route up into three, then I've got 173 miles. So what I can do is I can go into tools, measure, and I want approximately 173 miles. And that is roughly about just after reams so we can come out of that by pressing escape select a tool zoom tool go over to reams let's just close this down into this area I'm going to press command F and press advanced and then I want to go to fuel for auto fuel and press search and then more so when I do that, I can see there's one just there. So what I'm going to do is my selector tool, I'm going to select that. It doesn't want to do it. Why doesn't it want to do it? Ah, you have to, not the icon, you have to press the... <laughs> like so, and then you press um, waypoint. So now you've got waypoint here like so and you can do 
the next section and as you know uh, there's tools measure and from here I need 173 miles again which is just about just past Dijon so escape zoom tool just past Dijon search again And it looks like there's something there. Maybe there's something up here. Let's just press search. There we go, up here. There you go. So, select a tool. Press the number, waypoint, and you're over here. There you go. So, now that we split up the route a little bit, we've given our waypoints. I'm going to close my search field. I've got my two waypoints there, the fewer stops than that. So now I say, my guide. I can delete my other guide I can delete and now I'm prepared to do my proper route so I'm looking for a London to Channel Tunnel with a dark green colour create routes I want my channel tunnel French side to my fuel stop. 170 miles, that was pretty bang on. Let's give that a bright green. I want my fuel stop one to my fuel stop two. 172 miles. Let's give that a blue colour. And then I want my fuel stop 2 to Annecy, which is 179 miles. I can live with that. And we'll give that a bright blue colour. 